what up guys welcome to my youtube channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button if this is the first time you're seeing my face uh go ahead and turn on the bell notification thing um i'm gonna teach y'all some eyeshadow okay uh let's get into it i already did my foundation and my eyebrows all right, so for my face, I use the Morphe foundation. Um, I use F190 matte. For my eyebrows, yes, I use mascara, okay? This is all my natural brow hair, and I'm just darkening it up. So I just, you know, go over it like so. Then you're done. Um, you know, they have different color um, mascaras. I use black because my hair is pretty much, you know, black. But it is super, super important to wash your face in the morning, tone, use toner, apply um, either some oil or, um, you know, moisturizer. Let that soak in for about 20 minutes if you can. Um, and then primer. I know this isn't legit primer, but you know what? It works fucking awesome. So that's what I use for primer, and then I put my foundation on. First step to doing eyeshadow is getting an eyeshadow primer. I use Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. You're gonna place it on your lid, like so. That's my, my doggy. What you doing, baby? Hi. All right, and then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're going to blend that in. Do get off of me. Okay, I'm gonna blend that in. And usually I do my eyeshadow before I do my foundation only because you're gonna have some fallout, you know. But, okay, so we're just going to dab that in. And I put too much, so I'm going to wait until that dries. Good. And y'all don't have to watch unedited YouTube videos anymore because my man showed me how to edit YouTube videos. Because he's amazing. I freaking love that man. Anyways, here we go. All right. Awesome. Alright, let's get into it. These are the two palettes I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the Pure Festival palette and the uh, Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow palette. These two are my favorite. And I got them both in my BoxyCharm. This one came with my BoxyLux. This one came with the BoxyCharm. Alright, we're going to start with a matte color to put over your whole lid. With a big old fluffy brush. I use a brush like this. Okay. We're going to take this color right here. Thanks a lot, Tay. And we're going to put it over the whole lid. That way it gives us uh, somewhat of a base. All right, so now we have a base down with a brush like this. I don't know the names of brushes and stuff, so, you know, it is what it is. And that's all that there is, you know? I'm going to go in with Transition right here to put in your crease as a transition color. Wow, I look white. Okay, it's, it's all right. We're just going to put it right in here in the crease. And I have hooded eyes, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher than normal. Normal, what am I saying? 
All right, so that's in there. Take it again, the other eye. And make sure you blend it out good. Like, I don't go in and take a separate blending brush. I just, I blend it with the brush that I'm using. Like so. Okay, now you got your transition color in there. Bam. So I'm going to do a cut crease. So we're going to take concealer. I use the e.l.f. concealer because it's cheap, like me. All right. And we're going to figure out where you want to put your crease. Right about there is for me. And while keeping your eye open, well, halfway closed anyway, huh? Okay, we're going to keep it like that. Because if you open your eyes, it's going to mess it up. Okay. We're going to dab it in there. Keep dabbing until it is all blended in there. Again with this eye over here. All right, so now that that's patted in and blended, we have something that looks like this. Okay. Back into the Violet Voss palette. We're gonna go with a dark color today. Wine and Dine. Okay. Okay. We're gonna put this on the outer corner right here. Kind of blend it in up here. But we're only going to go a third of the way in. Just like that, okay? Pay him. So first we're going to dab it in like so and then we're going to start to blend up just to that line that you made with the concealer. I'm looking down in my mirror, just so you know, see. All right, so there we have in the color. It's always important to blend in your blend, just blend. When in doubt, blend it out, okay? See how pretty that is? All right, I'm gonna take an angled brush and I'm gonna go in with the Cranberry Splash right here. And we're gonna put it right here. And we're just gonna pat it in. And kind of blend those two colors together just slightly like that. Do y'all see how pretty that is? Okay, again, cranberry splash. Make 
My dog is always next to me while I'm doing my makeup because usually I'm using a mirror and it flips him out. Okay. And remember, blend them slightly together so that it's even. Now I'm going to take gold, it's called toffee, with another small brush like so. Tap it off. And I'm going to put it all the way up here. I always start by tapping the product in and then I blend it out. Okay? Tap in the product. And then blend it out. And we just created a masterpiece. With that transition color, with a tiny bit of chill, and we're gonna go right over the top of those again to kind of blend them out. Tiny bit of transition, and then the shimmer transition color right under it that's called chill. Tap it off. And again, right over those colors. Just right over them so that you get rid of that harsh line. Okay. Violet Voss. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and get any of the fallout. Pure Night Masquerade. It comes, I don't use these. I use these. Okay, so I'm going to take this color. It doesn't say what it is. Wait, yes it does. It's Enchantment. I'm going to bring it in right here. You want it mostly up here, and then gradually bring it down. And then I kind of just take it again on the other side. Just a little bit like that. Okay, so now we're done with that. And I'm going to take my concealer because I'm breaking out. You know, stress. And pretty much my whole chin. Under my eyes. That's really all I need cover done. Damp Beauty Blender. I feel like this is too bright. There we go. And now, 
I don't look like a tired mom. Always a plus, right? I mean, I don't look like I got two hours of sleep last night. And then I go in and kind of blend this out. Up. Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. My baby. It's almost gone. I kind of take a little bit of all three colors. Okay, we're going to go right above where you put your contour. Right here. And right under your brow bone. I'm going to take a tiny little brush and I like to go in with this marshmallow color which is almost gone I'm so sad get it on there good and we're gonna put it right here Yeah! Using the Maybelline Master Fix. I apply it with my same beauty blender that I've been using all morning. Right under the eyes. Okay. I don't like to bake. I just don't. I get my forehead because that's usually where I sweat the most. Living in the desert kind of sucks. But that won't be uh, an issue too much longer. Because I'm getting the hell out of here. I hate New Mexico. I hate it. And then I'm going to set right here on my chin where I put that concealer. And then just bring a little bit up here. All setting powders make a mess. Don't let anybody tell you different, okay? Because they all do. I mean, look, look. Guess I'm not wearing that shirt today. Setting spray. Again, I use e.l.f. You want to put your setting on setting <laughs> You want to put your setting spray on before you do your mascara. Okay? We're going to do some Too Faced peel off glitter that never peels off. My mascara is the Unique Moodstruck 4D Epic Mascara. Lip gloss. Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Look at that white line. But we'll get rid of that. That's okay. It's all right. Everything can be fixed. Okay. And the Morphe Eyeliner. God, that looks so freaking beautiful. All right. Be very careful. Don't even breathe.
You're gonna flick straight up, okay? Connect it down and fill it in. And this one is brand new, so I am going to make sure that it dries before I open my eye. Because if you open your eye before it's dry, it gets all over your beautiful masterpiece. And <laughs> then you get really sad. Alright, now we can do the other eye. And again, don't breathe. Okay, I always put a straight line down. We're going to go up. Just like that. And you want to open your eye and make sure you can still, like since I have hooded eyes, usually it disappears. Okay. We're gonna get that to go away, okay? So just just ignore that. Okay, then we're going to take the point and we're going to not breathe and connect it down. And then fill in that little gap you have right there. Why can't I ever get them to match? Because it just never happens. And you can't get upset with yourself. I mean, if they look decent, just leave it alone. Because otherwise you're going to have a thick ass wing on one side and a thick ass wing on the other. And you're not going to be able to. They're not going to be perfect. Just accept it. Okay, so I'm going to put this away before I mess it up. Big fluffy brush, and we're going to buff that out. Because that looks good on nobody. <laughs> All of that excess powder you want to just... Make it go away. Man, I really need to wax my lip. If you came from TikTok and you want to see me wax my lip, leave a comment below. Because it's fun. <laughs> Much better. I'm going to go in with my festival palette. And I'm going to take this pink color, because what is a look without pink? And we're going to go right under here. And smoke it out, and then see, this is a dual ender brush, okay? I have the flat end on this side and a fluffy brush on this side. Then we blend it out. And try not to poke your eyeball out, okay?
This palette's really pretty too, okay? Let me show you. These glitters right here, you don't need glitter glue or none of that. You just take a flat brush and you dip it in there. And it's not like those wet and wild ones that have the Vaseline and it's mostly Vaseline. This is mostly glitter, okay? I don't know how they do it, but they did it and it's just beautiful. This is the Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. Um, peeling it off is fun. I'm just gonna put it right here in the middle. Yeah. Bam, there we go. Some of my favorite mascara. Seriously, I've used so many mascaras, it's ridiculous. This has uh, been my favorite. You wanna start at the bottom and wiggle up. And I always look up like, tilt my head back and look down. So that you're less likely to get mascara all over your masterpiece. Okay, I'm going to go in with the second coat over here. And we're just going to focus on the tips of the lashes. And I don't worry about curling my lashes because when they're dry, I push them up with my finger. Alright, so I'm done with that. It is super important to get the foundation off your lips. This is a makeup remover wipe. Do you see, do you see the difference there? Like the foundation takes up half your lips. Bam! There's my lips. Wipe off my hands. <laughs> and now we're gonna use this. Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. This is the diamond pink, painkiller pink, my bad. It looks like a diamond pink. Some people were asking me how I put lip gloss on and lipstick when I have my lip ring. You just push it to the side. Then when you're done, you put it back. Look how white my teeth are. <laughs> All right, since I know damn straight that I got mascara everywhere, again, you just take a Q-tip and flick it off. So here's how it came out. All right, so that concludes this video. See how big my lips have gotten already? Um, if you like the video, like it. If you want to see more of my beautiful face, 
subscribe hit the bell let me know in the comments love you guys bye